this video tutorial I will explain how to bootstrapping a Spring Boot application using a Spring Initializer. Go to this website to open a Spring Initializer to bootstrap your application and the project we can generate Maven project or Gradle project. I have chosen Maven project and language can be Java or Kotlin or Groovy and I have chosen Java and Spring Boot version I have chosen 2.1.4 and these two are project metadata group and artifact group I have given as com.example and artifact is hello world and here you can see more options we can add dependencies of uh, our project in uh, two ways the first way is uh, you can search and uh, it will show the dependencies you can click and uh, select the dependency and uh, add the dependency and you can remove the dependency if you don't want another way to add the dependency is uh, click on this and here you can see all the list of dependencies here i have selected web and i have added web dependency click on generate project and zip file will be created Here you can see hello world.zip is created. Click on extract here. And here you can see the Spring Boot uh, application project. Next we will uh, import this project in uh, Eclipse and uh, start working on this. I am copying this project to Eclipse workspace. Here you can see Eclipse. Click on File, click on Import, and here you can see Maven section. Select existing Maven projects, click on Next and click on browse and in eclipse workspace hello world project is there which is spring boot application and here you can see it is downloading all the jars from maven repository to your local repository in dot m2 repository folder it is keep on downloading and putting all the jars all the dependent jars are downloaded from maven repository to our local repository here you can see Here you can see the project structure. Here you can see pom.xml. Here you can see hello world application.java. I am opening uh, pom.xml. In Spring Initializer, we have chosen Maven project. 
So pom.xml is generated. And language is Java and Spring Boot version is 2.1.4. And here you can see Spring Boot version is 2.1.4. Group is uh, com.example. And here you can see group ID is uh, com.example. And uh, artifact ID is uh, hello world. And here you can see artifact ID is hello world. And we have chosen web dependency. And here you can see the web dependency is added. Hello world application is the Spring Boot application. And uh, this is the entry point of uh, starting the Spring Boot application. I am running this uh, Java program. And here you can see the Spring Boot application is started and it started in 8080 port. The Spring Boot application is started and it is working fine. Next we will add rest endpoint to avoid this error page. I am stopping this Spring Boot application. Here I have added rest endpoint for this path. Whenever this path is called, this method will be executed and it returns hello world. I am starting the Spring Boot application. Spring Boot application is started. Now I am refreshing this page and here you can see we got hello world. This method is called and it returns hello world and that is what you are seeing here. Spring Boot provides a number of starters to add jars in our class path. In this example, we have added a Spring Boot starter web so that we can add rest endpoint. We have started the Spring Boot application from Eclipse. Next, we will see how to create the executable jar and how to run that jar and start the Spring Boot application. Next, I am going to create the executable jar. Click on refresh. 
and here you can see the jar file is created. Next we will see how to run this jar file. Here you can see Spring Boot application is started and it started on the port number 8080 and here you can see we got the output. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code.